It's the biggest game in America, the Super Bowl, as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Packers. The Packers are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field, this should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Short throw to the right. Lamar Woodley was there to bring him down. Let's take a look at the key players now. The chief among them is Greg Jennings out of Western Michigan, who has emerged as the go-to guy of this offense. Yeah, there's a lot of talent out there, especially among the wide receivers, and yet you're right, guys. Greg Jennings has emerged as the favorite target because of his ability to catch any ball. He can go deep, and he can go get those tough catches over the middle as well. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Good coverage downfield. And the tackle was made by Lawrence Timmons. Nelson picks up maybe seven with that catch. And just about four yards away here on second down. Rodgers hands it off. James Harrison was there for the stop. And as a play caller, when you see a successful running play like that, it makes you a little more confident to call it the next time. Has a man out to his right. He's dropped down at about the 37-yard line by Allen. Now we have a first down and 10 to go on their own 37. They'll work the right side. Defense is the recipe for success for this team, and they've enjoyed a lot of it. Of course, it all starts with exceptional strong safety, the Tasmanian devil, Troy Polamalu, out of USC. Uh, I don't know what more you can say about Troy Polamalu that hasn't been said a hundred times. He's just one of the best, and maybe one of the best ever, and he's probably taken it for the Hall of Fame. I know that is high praise, but when you watch him play, he can just do so much and his instincts seem to always take him to the ball. The PAT is up and good. Green Bay is up a score. Crosby is ready to kick it away. Sanders is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Andrew Corliss was there to bring him down. That brings out the eighth-year man out of Miami of Ohio, quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. They'll get the ball here at the 23. First down and 10. Looking for a man. The pass is broken up. What a play. On offense, this is a team that plays smart, consistent, team-oriented football. And the result is one of the league's best attacks. And the leader is, of course, a future Hall of Fame player. Wide receiver Hines Ward out of Georgia that shows no signs of slowing down. Yeah, and what's amazing about Hines Ward is that with all of his success, he still prides himself on catching the toughest balls in the toughest situations and perhaps the greatest blocking wide receiver the game has ever seen. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. Cobb fields it at the 37. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. He's searching for a receiver. To the 10. Dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Greg Jennings is not a quarterback that's going to make too many mistakes against the blitz. So when you bring pressure, you are really rolling the dice because the flip side of that is big plays, and you saw one there. And he adds.
that's the point after. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Packers, 14. The Steelers, nothing. And takes off from his own goal line. The stop was made by Jennings. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. Mendenhall gets the carry, makes it out to about the 30. Charles Woodson was there for the stop. It's first and 10. So the ball on their own 30. Passes short right side. Just about five yards on that completion. So tough to cover a slant route against man coverage. If you can break to the inside and get your body inside that defensive back, it's a pretty easy pitch and catch. Mendenhall again. And he makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Clay Matthews was there to bring him down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Has a seam down the middle. Charles Woodson was there for the stop. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Passes out to the left. And the defense came after him with the blitz, and you see the net result of that. You don't always get a sack, but sometimes if you can just rush the quarterback, it is a positive net result for the defense. Looks right. Throws. He picks it off. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent can let you get away with. Pittsburgh got it. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. Roethlisberger hands it off straight ahead. And so we have played one in the Super Bowl. 